if you have two sets of vectors, the question arises, do they have the same span? Well, there are a couple of ways to answer this. Um, the most direct way, maybe not the simplest, but the most direct way is to simply see if you can write each of these as a linear combination of these. And then if you can write each of these as a linear combination of these. So you could test. Um, can you solve? Okay, well, is is each vector a linear combination of those in the other set? Well, you know, we could write. C of C1, V1 plus C2, V2 plus C3, V3 equals W1 has a solution. This can typically be written as a matrix multiplied by the C1, C2, C3 column vector equals another matrix, this one being W1 and this one being the coefficient matrix. Um, are the, well, the matrix consisting of V1, V2, and V3 as column vectors. And uh, let's make sure, are these column vectors? We have the components of V1 that have to be multiplied by C1. Yeah, yeah, they, they're with column vectors. Okay. Um, Okay, so, is that the case? Does this have a solution? Then you could do the same for W2 and W3. And then you would... Then you would have the same argument, so you'd have W1, W2, W3 column vector multiplied by C1, C2, C3 equals this, where this would be V1. There's a better notation for that, but you should get the idea. Okay, so that would kind of be a brute force method of doing that, and you should, and then same for Three. But then, of course, <coughs> well, there are shorter things you can do, and you might want to think about it. But this is the basic idea. Okay? Now, there's a much more compact way this can all be done, uh, and it can be done by matrix reduction if you reduce the right matrices, and, and, and lots of other things. Um, but, see if it works out. Now, there's no assumption, incidentally, that um, these vectors all have dimension, say, 3. Okay? And if they all have, uh, well, nothing. There's no, there, there's no assumption that they all have the same, that they all have dimension 3, but all these vectors have to have the same dimension. They have to be within the same space. Um, so, this vector could have 15 rows, and of course this vector then would be a column of 15 numbers. Okay, so you might think in terms of just how that works out. Interesting question to think about.